Hello and welcome students create the tenant account on Office 365 and in this project video I'm going to discuss about how you can create your tenant account on Office 365 and here you can see this is the document the project document that we're going to provide you and I'm going to make this video really interactive for you like I'm going to show you how you can use this document for your learning and how you can perform steps accordingly to the document that we numbered here in these files so let's scroll down and let's say if any student just execute the document file and just open the document so the student will see this page first and then the objectives and here you can see that what you're going to cover after completing this project so you can create office 365 tenant you can easily configure a custom domain also you can explore the office 365 administrator interfaces but here as for this project video this is going to be the project video one for the microsoft 365 in terms of configuration and administration so we're going to cover the part one objective and that's for the configuring an office 365 tenant so here you have the lab setup and we're going to use the practice labs as we are already using it so here you knew that which lab we're going to use and this is a sandbox and if you missed that video so you can go back to just watch the first video that we created that how to use the practice labs platform for your learning then once you covered that so here in this project we need two machines PLAB DC01, the PLAB Win10. The DC01 is our domain controller, you know, and the PLAB Win10 is our client machine. But here, as for this lab, we're going to need the PLAB Win10 machine. So let's redirect to the machine, and here's the administrator username and the password, and let's start the machine and navigate to the Practice Labs platform. So here we are on the PLabs machine and this is the, the this, this specific machine is a PLab Win 10 machine and if you start following the document which if I show you so we need the PLab Win 10 machine in this in these steps and we need to do what we need to log in to the Microsoft Office 365 license link and where we're going to initiate our tenant account and all the basic detail that required we need to fill so you can see on the screenshots that we already provided the links and all the way how you can get access to the new tenant and how you can initialize your basic system so here you can see that everything that you need to complete this objective you already have in terms of text as well as the screenshots so let's move to the practice labs and proceed in this project now here once you access the PLAB Win 10 machine so let's browse let's open the browser and type the link that we provided here where here in the document so let's select this link and you can simply copy that link because this is not needs to open on your local machine we need to open this link where on the practice lab machine so this is a shortcut you can copy that link from here and then navigate to your browser and click to the menu and select the clipboard and paste the link here and then click to send so it will send to that virtual machine the practice labs machine and then you can press ctrl v so it will be pasted like that so that's 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 the way and that's te those techniques you can use to save your time and here it it redirected us to the office 365 e5 license and here what we're going to do we're going to select the free trial so let's click to select the free trial and let's see what it shows and here it is asking for an email id so as for your learning you can use your own hotmail or any Microsoft account to initiate this trial license so here I'm going to use one one of my email so you can use your own 
at this moment so as I type my email then I'm gonna click next and it will first check whether I can continue with this email or do I need to set up a different account so here the email is good to go but we need to set up the account details so here it requires some basic details and you can find out all the information that how you can fill these tell us about yourself boxes like the first name middle name phone number so here I'm going to fill it so here you can see that I type my first name middle name last name and along with the phone address phone number and the company name and it is like TGSS because it is a test TSS and the company size I'm going to set here is a 50 to 250 people and the region goes to default United States then click next and here it will text the ODP the one time code and we need to just type that code here so select text me thing but here it says that there is a problem with this number so yes definitely because I didn't change this United States code so here I'm going to scroll down and select my local code now let's click to send verification code and there you go once I type the code and provide this here so it proceeds and it's suggesting the admin email and also it is asking for the domain name so it is recommended that TJSS225 yes that's good to go and in the document you can find that we highlighted the area where you can use the character and the alphanumeric within your domain name so the username is going to be my name but I'm going to change it as the admin the TJSS255 that's good and here in the password I'm going to set my default password here and there you go here definitely I'm going to make check to these requirements in this trial license to proceed and it will take a while to complete all your detail and just make the database of what you what the detail you provided so actually here in this video you have seen that we provide you the way how you can initiate the new tenant for your organization and how to start a trial license to test things to just make yourself comfortable with the environment with the new office 365 modes and licenses and the features so once you see this screen the confirmation details let's click to get started and it will redirect you to the office dot portal office dot portal dot com and here you can easily manage your whole office 365 environment as well as your endpoints and a lot of things which we later going to discuss in the coming videos that's the position and that's the identification that all the steps you took in the beginning were successful and all the information is right and now you can use the office 65 trial license to test things and if you feels that this is this change is going to bring a lot of benefit for your organization for your work so you can continue this trial license as a full license and we will later on show you the details of all the licenses we have in the Office 365. So that's it for this video.